The dynasty scandal now has a local twist. On Twitter, Mayor Anise Parker said yesterday, when I called Phil Robertson of Duck Dynasty a redneck wingnut whose views are completely irrelevant, I was serious. Who cares? Those views have him suspended indefinitely from the popular reality TV show. In GQ magazine, Robertson called homosexuality a sin, citing the Bible. A&E is getting backlash from both sides, those who want Robertson to remain off the series and those who want him reinstated. Phil's family is standing by him, and that means the show's future is now in question. So what's really at the heart of the issue, the comments Robertson made, or is it that his freedom of speech has been trampled on because he's famous? Joining us live in the newsroom now is Fox 26 legal analyst Chris Tritico, Fox 26 news analyst Mustafa Tamiz, public policy analyst Jackie Bally, and special guest radio host Chris Baker. Good morning again, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. morning. So these comments that, uh, that this Duck Dynasty star made about uh, black people and homosexuals, what do you guys think about that? Well, let's start with the law. Uh, he has the absolute right under the First Amendment to the United States Constitution to express whatever he wishes, and he did. And he has that right, and that right is still being protected because he got to say it, and, and that's it. Because you express your right under the First Amendment to say what you wish, that doesn't mean your employer has to agree. And so if you say what you want and you use the First Amendment to say what you want, that's fine. But your employer can say, now that you have expressed yourself, and I'm glad you did, but you're fired. And you don't get to sue under the First Amendment for that with a private employer. You could the government, but this is not a governmental agency. He works for a private employer who is, who is marketing to gay individuals to African Americans and they don't have to stand by that statement and that's the conflict that we're having here. But Mustafa Tamiz, we'll start with you this time. You know, this is not in my view a First Amendment question. He has the right to say it, he said it fine. A and E can say, you, you said it, great, now you're fired. Yeah, absolutely, but there's, this is being talked about a lot on a national level, local level, the mayor just spoke on it. <clears throat> One point that's not getting out is what is this guy doing in the GQ magazine? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if he has a chance of being in the GQ magazine, you know, I volunteer Chris Baker. I think we should put him in GQ magazine. I love that, Mustafa. <laughs> Chris Baker could then make a Vidal Sassoon commercial. There. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Jackie Valley, this, you know, the mayor spoke out, uh, came out. She's, all, she's not really jumped into these issues before, but she jumped out pretty hard on this. The mayor has her right to her opinion, just like this gentleman has a right to his opinion and his viewers look at his <laughs> show because he has those very strong viewpoints it's one of the we were talking about this earlier one of the largest um, viewerships that they've had in reality TV four hundred million dollars that are affiliated with all their products and you know if there are Chia pets um, that are made after your likeness he could be a Chia pet no they right. have them they're oh. advertising them right well. now so I mean that just shows how popular <laughs> seriously <laughs> Duck Dynasty Chia pets after the character so that shows how popular this guy and this show really is and I think a and is being a little hypocritical because if they were so upset there wouldn't be a marathon that's starting tonight they wouldn't be uh, saying oh we're gonna show the first nine shows in January so they're trying to they're saying oh we're a little offended by what he's saying but we're still gonna make money over his show. All right, Chris Baker, we'll come back to you in a minute. I want to go to Domily. She's monitoring the social media accounts, and I'm sure we've got some people weighing in on this one. Oh, absolutely. Arnetta Hicks-Murray <laughs> says it's Phil's opinion. What did you expect from him? Let him be. Rob Vaughn on my Facebook page says, while we're discussing it, let's throw in what the mayor says. Uh, he says what she said was totally out of line as well. He says folks might need to just shut their mouths. So you guys, here's my question to you. Is it okay to feel that way and not say anything about it? Or should we try to uh, get you know race relations and sexuality relations a little bit better in this country so that people actually don't feel that way? Well, I think that's a great question because what, what really we're seeing here is, is let him say whatever he wants, even though there's a segment of the population that considers those to be bigoted statements. Let him say whatever he wants and no one gets to react to that. that, isn't, that isn't that really what they're saying? And is that right, Chris Baker? Well, you know, first of all, people get along a lot better when they're busy pursuing their own interest. Second of all, this is just another example in, in a long line of attacks on, on Christians and persons of faith. This isn't really about what what Phil Robertson said. What it is is actually trying to 
It's an attempt to try to squash discussion and debate on these issues, trying to demonize people. I mean, they're treating this guy like he's a common criminal. Uh, here's a guy who talked about what his faith tells him. He was asked the question and he answered it. But there are activist groups like GLAD who slide down a fire pole anytime somebody says anything about anybody gay, and next thing you know, it's hate speech. It's it's you know like like they're throwing guys in ovens or something like that. This is this is ridiculous. And and GLAD, if they're so smart, why don't they replace Duck Dynasty with the GLAD Dynasty show and see if they can draw some viewers? I mean, this is you know this whole thing is ridiculous. Mustafa, to me, shouldn't people be allowed? I mean, he he made the statement. He's standing by his statement. People aren't allowed to respond? Well, I, I think people are going to respond, regardless they did. of what others say. And, and, <laughs> yeah, and they're going to respond. And, and, and they're going to respond in the same manner in which he responded. He basically started a bigoted comment. And in return, he's going to get statements that are more depicting of him. Well, well I Mustafa's best friend, the, uh, President Obama, came <laughs> out and said that he actually likes the show and is one of the few shows he lets his daughters look at. Wow, how about that? Uh, is A&E being over the top here? A and E's being over the top. Everybody's being over the top. All right, here's a guy that said, "My religion says this. This is what I believe." Why can't we just say, "Okay, well, that's what he—that's what he does believe." But how many millions of other things do people have in common that they share in common with this guy as far as values? I mean, this whole thing is—it's embarrassing to me. We're gonna have a guy it. should be He's able to have an opinion. You're not getting on the GQ magazine. I'm We're gonna have to you. leave it's it right there. Happen. We'll talk about GQ <laughs> magazine and hate. Chris's <laughs> attempts to get on there later. That uh, is hate. Domna, we'll be back in the next hour. We got two really good topics in the next hour. I'd like to see Chris in a Jordash ad. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's exactly. a bad visual. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Looking no, forward to the next debate. <laughs>